All right, guys, we just made it to Hanoi, and it was about two hours of a plane ride from Saigon to Hanoi. And we actually just finally got to check into our hotel, so I didn't film too much of us traveling. But um, overall, it's been really pleasant here. I, I guess we're staying at a very busy street. Uh, looks like there's a lot of people here. And I think we came down at like a really good time, mainly because it's there's like lots of festivals happening here. Uh, maybe for the long weekend, or it could simply be something that Callie will explain later. Hi everybody, so we're standing outside the Serene Boutique Hotel today. So we just got here. Um, it's super busy today because everybody is off. They are celebrating Independence Day, so basically just when Vietnam became a socialist country. So if you look around, everybody kind of has their flag and they have to celebrate Independence Day, just like how Americans celebrate their Independence Day. Other than that, I'll show you guys where we're staying. It's pretty central to where you want to be downtown, so it's definitely very nice and very different. So I'll show you. So it looks like the first stop is this little hole in the wall and we're gonna go try. Everybody wants some of that wet nap tissue. Must have. Thank you. Must have. <laughs> Always carry wet naps. <laughs> I don't know if you can hear me, but the roads are definitely really loud with a lot of people honking and the motorbike's engines are just kind of going out pretty loud. We just finished our food at the hole in the wall and we are actually gonna. Wait, there's a pit stop. What I was actually saying is that we're actually going to a market um, nearby and then we're gonna go out and check out a uh, little of the shops that they have there and it's really close to our hotel so we're pretty much gonna just kind of see. Look at that, he's wearing your outfit. Banana! <laughs> Finally made it. it kind of looks like the one in Saigon that we went to. Um, it is indoor, so uh, I guess let's go see what's inside. It looks pretty busy, so wait till the camera adjusts. Honestly, every time we go through one of these, we usually don't spend too much time in there. It's mainly because they always have the same stuff and it's usually the things that we don't really need on our trip. Uh, most of the time, we're just kind of looking for things that might help us on this trip. But overall, it's just a lot of junk that we don't want to carry with us. So, we didn't want to buy anything. Smells like my baby. There's like a funky smell that's happening inside this little area that we're in. And Callie over there just said it smells like garbage. But it actually smells like Chinese medicine at the same time. The sour smell is coming from Sean. <laughs> that one. That, <laughs> that one. one. We're actually on a journey to go find some mango steam. So we found it. It's... Okay. 
was it? It was like 50,000 for a pound or something like that. But we got two pounds. Have you tried it? It's been a really long day and right now we're just gonna go explore a little bit even though we're super tired but um, there's still a lot to see here in this little city so we are just getting ready we're gonna go take a look at where this train tracks are that is really famous here and hopefully it's not too busy places that we really wanted to try was one of the Bang Me Vietnams here and we found a place that is really close by to our hotel and it looks pretty exciting. <laughs> a lot of different items on the menu. got our Vietnamese sub to go and we just brought it back to our rooms just mainly because we really wanted the AC and it was just really hot outside so we wanted to kind of sit down and have a good meal before we end up going out and here I'm going to be unpacking our Viet subs. So we got two different kinds of subs. We got one that was a mixed special, and the other one was a beef and cheese. What is a beef and cheese? That one. 